So if you want to supercharge your Chrome OS Flex experience, then these apps are going to do just that. And since there is no Android support, we will be taking the use of the Linux, which you need to enable it from the developer options and make sure you provide at least 50 to 100 GB of space. So the more the better. So with that out of the way, let's get started. So the first app is going to be the Steam application. Yes, Steam is available for the Linux and we can use it here on the Chrome OS Flex as well. And the interface is just like the Windows and we have all the games listed here. But uh, we need to first search for the Linux titles and then all the titles that, you, that will be available, you can play that here on the Chrome OS Flex. So for the demonstration, I have installed the Metro Last Light, which was in my library. And uh, due to the screen recording, the game is jittery and laggy. But without the screen recording, it is very much playable. So you can check out the gameplay. The game plays without any issues and there were no sudden crashes or anything like that. So you can definitely play those here. And if these games are too much for your system, then we can use the PPSSP emulator to play the, um, the PlayStation games. And I've installed two games here, but I'm not going to play them using the screen recording because it's very laggy. So what I'm going to switch to my camera. So this is an older GTA title. And it feels really good and can check out here this is the liberty city stories so make sure in the settings for the emulator you uh, tweak the render resolution if you are facing any kind of issues and with that you also need to tweak the upscale level so it is sharper and you can check out here you need to do some settings with the controller as these games are meant for the touch screen or the wireless controller so if you have a wireless controller that is going to be really good but uh, even on the keyboard is working very good you can check out the graphics the shadows it's a really good experience and uh, also similar to the gta we have the god of war spider-man need for speed others uh, you can google them and download the iso files for the psp emulators And also the Chrome OS Flex does not have an App Store or Play Store so we, can ha we need to have a Linux App Store and this is a game changer and we have a pre-built categories for the productivity apps or the developer apps and all the other gaming audio videos so you can find all those apps listed here and this way you can easily install any applications without the need of the terminal and but if you need the terminal you can also use that so for that we are going to use a website called the flat hub and uh, this has a really great layout better than the application actually and you can easily just click on the little arrow then copy the link and then you need to open up the terminal tap on the penguin just paste the link and you can easily install if you see this option just select the second one which is the user and then i have already installed it and now we have the vlc which is a really powerful video player so you need to install it to play 4k files for example so yes linux app store is a must for your chrome os flex now moving on this is a recent addition which is the google chrome browser but this is not a normal chrome, chrome browser but this is something called the lacrosse and we have the option to add multiple accounts so this is also another really important feature where you can add multiple google accounts and use them at the same time and just like windows or linux you can do that here and uh, to enable this actually you need to enable some flags so you need to go to this uh, link and then uh, you need to enable this the first two flags so this will enable the google chrome the new browser the lacrosse and the third option you can enable it if you are facing some gpu related issues this is going to improve the performance so you can also enable the third option now the next is the play on linux you can also find it on the app store and uh, using this you can actually uh, use older windows applications like in this case i'm going to use the 
Microsoft Windows 2010 version so I will open the MS Word and uh, all the options work here without any issues and you can access them here actually I have a dedicated video explaining how to install it you can check that out and not just the MS Word we can also use to access the MS Excel MS uh, uh, the PowerPoint and etc using this and uh, this is really good you can also access other older uh, Windows applications like Photoshop and stuff using this uh, play on Linux and if you do not want to use the MS Word uh, you can also use the LibreOffice which is uh, which gets updated frequently and has all the features of the MS Word so you can get the LibreOffice for the Excel PowerPoint and and all the other options so this is also a really great alternative and it's open source and trusted uh, application and the next is a video player a video editor and this is the and shortcut video editor it is a really advanced video editor we have the all the functions for the copy cut and paste and you can easily import your video so make sure your video files and everything is in the linux files of the uh, the file explorer but we have these three uh, very advanced options for the not for the editing we have these options for the uh, visual effects the audio color and everything so right now it is in the video effects mode and if you check out that we have a lot of uh, uh, transitions effects and, uh, and video effects for the audio and the time the blur and everything so this is separately for video and if you have used davinci it has separate tabs for that so this is very similar to that and uh, apart from the video effects we have option for the color grading as well so if you want to uh, change some colors and make your video look a lot better you can do that so all these options are very uh, not common in all the video players but we have it here and uh, for uh, chromos flex which is a really simple uh, operating system this kind of applications really uh, make it uh, quite powerful and uh, apart from that we can edit the audio and then we have the player mode and uh, and after all that is done we can easily export it and you can check out all the details here and export your video so this is really good and helpful if you are editing videos and um, and if you are a photoshop user and you cannot find photoshop here uh, you can use the play on linux to install our version if that's not working for you you can use the uh, gimp which is an open source photoshop alternative and also it is really popular among the linux users and just like the open sort you can import the files from the Linux files and we have all the options here for the layers the paint brushes and all the effect the selection tool uh, copy clone and you can also apart from those you have a lot of options for the color saturations and uh, different tools as well so if you are a pro in Photoshop you can definitely use this in the GIMP as well and all these applications can be installed easily with the help of the app store or through the online uh, flat hub as well so if there are any other helpful applications that you use on your chromos flex do let me know in the comments so that was it for this video i hope you like this one and i'll see you in the next one